Memphis Mayor Paul Young held his ninth and final one Memphis Town Hall of the Year tonight. The mayor and his executive staff took their tour to Booker T. Washington High School to listen to concerns from South Memphis residents. Action is by Joyce with the top concern tonight. Joyce. Yeah, Joy, the mayor's staff told me tonight that blight has surpassed crime as the number one concern of residents, and that was certainly the case for South Memphis residents tonight. Inside Booker T. Washington High School, where Mayor Paul Young's parents both graduated. This is really an opportunity to make sure that we are hearing from the citizens of this community and using those voices to make our services better. The mayor and his department heads listened to the concerns of South Memphis residents. Between Crump and Walker, it's just so blighted. In this community, we have a lot of crime. People still drive down Walker, 80 miles an hour. The young administration heard about quality of life issues, blight, crime, speeding, and the fear about the future for our children. This generation that we have now, it seems like they don't have a soul. They're just killing people for nothing. Mayor Young asked those in attendance for their help turning Memphis around. During Monday night's town hall at Rhodes College, Young, a city planner by trade, described the exodus from the city. And what we saw was not just white flight. I'm not going to let my black folk off the hood. We saw economic flight. Wasn't just white flight. Memphis's crime problem, a major reason why people leave. MPD's crime fighting efforts include a new AI camera system, an increased number of homicide detectives to solve murders, and a robust hiring campaign, including a $15,000 sign on bonus. Tuesday, Mayor Young announced more than 30 nonprofits received Safer Communities grants, sharing more than $1 million in funding. We have not seen this much activity in help in years. And Mayor Young says this is only the start. We are already trending in the right direction relative to crime. We know it's still too high, but it's trending down. And now we have to be creative around the strategies that we're going to use to keep that number moving in the right direction. The other thing that South Memphis and South City residents really wanted to know about is the construction on Walker Avenue. They said it is difficult to navigate when you drive. It's disruptive to businesses. The city engineer told them it will be another three to four months. Reporting live in Memphis tonight, I'm Joyce Peterson, Action News 5. Memphis.